if we were on the verge of a brink of war, they'd find a way there, to have there both are no of those cost overruns. They're both both of those programs to exist. So I, I wrote about this in my book from a few years ago. When was it? 2017. Mm -hmm. um, accessory to war: mm. the unspoken alliance between astrophysics and the military. Mm. And I talk about this two-way street mm. between the frontier of modern astrophysics, particle physics in mm. there as well, because particles we learn about the Big Bang and the needs of the military. So that became the most obvious accounting for that to occur. Mm. We lose the, the center of mass, it goes to Europe. Uh, Europe eventually discovers the Higgs boson. Mm -hmm. Nobel Prize is all around. Mm -hmm. Our accelerator, was depending on the, the the beam three to six times more powerful than the most powerful settings of the LHC. Hmm. So we would have discovered the Higgs boson decades ago. And perhaps either at that time or in, in the resulting decades, other things. Because oh, thank you, other things, perhaps other things. Right. But once you get there, now you ask the next question. Right. It's Which a is, new place to stand. You never stop. And you have right. a proscenium looking beyond. Looking what else is Exactly. Out there. Right. It's never about the question you even know to ask. So the, it's the so, question you haven't thought of yet, right? Because there's a place you will soon stand that will give you a view that you didn't even know is possible. And based on that perspective, the setback is almost exponential in a way, right? Well, because no, we, we no. don't know what we don't know, no, and that's the shame. You don't know what you don't know, correct? And that's deep and important and real. Uh, they're trying to boost the energies of the LHC mm. to go to the next level there mm. so that was getting back to the specifics of the question yeah the discovery of the higgs boson was delayed decades because of that decision mm. but science is science it's not about uh, the creativity of an individual if beethoven did not compose the ninth symphony if van gogh did not paint the starry night mm. no one who will ever be born in the future will compose or paint that right Whereas in science, you can be very creative and be ahead of everybody, but eventually everybody catches up and we move beyond it. Mm. Because what decides what is true is not the public's voting on, oh, we like your artwork. It's nature, right. which is the ultimate judge, jury, and executioner right. of your idea. Right. And if you don't want to do it in the United States, another country does it. Something By the way, it's international. So we had Americans who were part of that collaboration, right. but we didn't lead it. Right. That's all.